Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for October. This is for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, this is being recorded in September. It may resonate now, but this is really for October. This is what I'm intending it to be for. So I would urge you to consider that, okay? Um, this reading is not going to be for every single person. It's not a private reading, okay? This is a personal. <laughs> it's not a personal. It's not a personal. Some of you are going to take it as personal, though, right? Anyhow, um, this is a general reading. It's a general reading. We're not going to start over because I believe that everything is supposed to come out the way it's supposed to come out. So it is what it is. Anyhow, we're going to see what we have for Cancer for the month of October. Let's see what comes up. We'll start right here. What do we have for Cancer? <clears throat> Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I don't know what that means. We're going to dive into it here in a minute, but you may need some help from your friends. You may need to, just some support. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What do we got for cancer? Let me get one of these. October. October. One card, please. Not for you. Well, maybe you do need your friends to help you. You may be dealing with something or a situation that just is not for you. Okay, we're going to read that card. We are going to read that card. And you, there could be some despair over it. Okay, let's see. Six is a number of reevaluation. So this may be a time of reevaluation or maybe in, in September. Now you look at that fortune cookie. It says... Nope. Nope. That is not it. That's not the one. Something is not for you. Okay? It's not. A clear knowing that something is being denied. Rejection is God's protection. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now. That, indeed, your dreams for that exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart, for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea is of what is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning. But the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. If you are the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for both of your sakes. For every pot, there is a lid. This may, this may not be the best fit. So, it looks as though you guys may be going through some sort of change. And you may need friends at this time because it's hard. It's hard. There's codependency issues here, okay? There is. If you can't let go of something that isn't meant for you because you just don't want to be alone or, you know, you thought it was right and you just can't accept that you were wrong. I'm not saying that, I mean, I, you heard what I just read. Nobody wants to hear it, right? I don't want to hear this shit. I don't either. But the fact of it is, something is not right. And owning up to it is the ultimate 
strength. You gain respect. Anyhow, Cancer, Cancer, what do we have for Cancer? Self-respect even, and respect from your friends, respect from your others. What do we got for Cancer? Yeah, there's an end of a relationship here. I can't make this shit up for any reason whatsoever. Somebody is going to need some support from other people because this is the end of a relationship. There's no compatibility. This is the end of something. It just wasn't meant to be, right? The Ten of Cups reversed. It's like there's no happiness there, no long-term happiness. Somebody may not be feeling at peace because it, it's just not right. It's just not right. Ooh, cancer. So it's like somebody's been hiding. Somebody's been um, letting their shadow side uh, rule. Uh, it, it, it's time to come out of hiding. It's time to speak the truth. It's time to tell the truth. Um, own up to something. Um, so all is not as it seems in a relationship. Okay, it isn't. You may somebody may have protect, been, been pretending. Okay, that a relationship was all good and fun and happy, but in reality, that's not the truth. Um, oh my God! So we could be dealing with a Pisces as well. So we have Cancer and Pisces here. Um, this is getting unstuck. Okay, no longer w sacrificing yourself for something that isn't meant to be. This is breaking free. Um, yeah, somebody has been uh, reluctant to start over, reluctant to let go. Um, now, these are all majors. One, two, three. These are all majors right here. So this is a major change that is needed. This is universal guidance. Like the universe is saying, no, no, this relationship is not the one for you. I mean, look at where it is. Okay, that relationship is not the one for you. You can't escape the reality of it with addictions or drugs or whatever. It's like we have somebody here that has been trying to escape the reality of it. You know, um... Maybe trying to prove a point to somebody else. Maybe trying to prove something. I don't know. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah, we have a relationship here. that is, There's probably going to be a breakup or a split. Okay, there is. There is. I'm not going to pretty this up and pretend that it is all peaches and creams. Okay, because it isn't. And we can't escape the truth forever. We can't live in fantasy land. So it feels as though we have somebody here that needs to start over. They need to fly. They need to start with a clean slate. But letting go is the problem. But it feels like letting go is going to happen. It is going to happen. I think it is. Um, whether it's you or the other person. Yeah, something is coming to a halt. Somebody is about to take the lead. Woo! Hmm. And it's because you have a bigger, bigger love here. There's something so big waiting for you. Something so emotionally fulfilling. But the challenge is taking action. Taking action to go after big love. Do you want big love or do you want no love? I mean, that is the choice here. Now, I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. I wasn't going to, but <clears throat> I saw it when I was shuffling, okay? But now that I see these cards, I'm going to show you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Remember I said respect? Love yourself enough to go after big love. Mediocre love, where it's not fulfilling your dreams, where it's not fulfilling you, where it's only, you know, it's passive, it's a little bit, it's not a lot, it's not what you really want. Come on now. When you come to the end of your life, do you want to look down and be like, oh my God. I stayed in a situation. Or I settled. I settled. To prove a point to somebody. I sacrificed myself needlessly. I sacrificed myself because I didn't want to be alone. 
There is big love here. There is big love here. There is. But you have to be willing to take a risk and look your own fears in the eye. I'm serious. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Justice. Justice. This is about getting what you deserve. But to get what you deserve, you have to act with integrity and you have to be honest and you have to tell the truth. You have to be honest with yourself more than anything. We're going to get to these. Don't you worry. This is making a decision. Becoming clear of the choice. This is a decision. This is a decision. Somebody needs to make a decision based on reality. Okay? Not fantasy. Let go of the fantasy. Like, like the card said, like the book said, you can't make it be. You can't make somebody love you. You can't make yourself love somebody else. If it's not love, it's not love. You can't make it happen. Anyway, I feel as though cancer, this is a card of consequences as well. There's, there's, there's consequences for the decisions that you make. Karma plays a part. This is a card of karma. It looks as though you have a golden opportunity waiting for you. Something solid, something stable, uh, something long term. But you need to know your worth. You need to know your own value first. And you do need to take action. You need to take action. You need to you need to stop sacrificing yourself and go after what you truly deserve, which is the biggest fucking love possible. So Cancer, I feel as though this is a month of somebody taking action, okay? This one right here. And not taking action here, but this guy takes action. Somebody is about to find their confidence and their courage and their strength to do the right thing and go after big love. So is is somebody going to come sweep you off your feet, Cancer? No, because I feel like you need to make the the real uh, right decision and it has to do with ending a false contract. Okay, this is a contract. This is a contract. It's it's getting real. Getting real. Right around the corner, there is a breakup. Okay? That is right around the corner. And if you want stability, there's an opportunity for stability. There is. There is an opportunity for stability. But, you got to make a practical choice. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to make sure that you are choosing wisely. Unless you want to get yourself into a relationship that doesn't make you happy. So, right now, find your courage. Find your confidence. Find your strength. Find your willpower. To do the noble thing, even if it scares you. Okay? Even if you really don't want to be alone. It's better to be alone than be with the wrong one, like this card said. It's not fair to anybody involved. It's really not. That's a lack of integrity. Anyhow, you have big, 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 big love here waiting for you. But you need to make a better choice. You need to make a better choice. Beware of false beginnings. I think somebody got themselves into a false beginning with somebody. And now they got to find the strength <laughs> to leave it behind. And that's not easy. So what does cancer have coming in? A new opportunity. This is coming in, okay? This is the Four of Cups reverse. There is another opportunity being seized. This is not letting go of regret. The end of stagnation. Looking forward now. Golden opportunity. What did I tell you? I told you that anyway. You got a golden opportunity waiting for you. Something big. Something solid. Something that you can bank on. I mean, this is something you can touch and hold on to. This is permanent. This is... Uh, Take this time to manifest what you are really worth, what, what, what you really want. Because you have an opportunity for big love that could last to something last. 
It could be something solid. It could be something stable. It could be something secure. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You probably ain't going to like it. It's probably a year from now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because we have a partnership that is going nowhere that needs to be dealt with. And then you need to take time to love yourself. You need to slow down. You need to go a little bit slower. No rushing into anything. Because when you rush into things, you know, speeding causing, causes accidents. People get hurt. I see a, I see a time of, of taking a break. Okay? Working on your stability. Working on your money. Working on your job. You know, working on your business. Letting go of the... Looks to me like it's an unrequited love situation. And manifesting the solid opportunity that you truly desire. So do I feel like there is somebody that is going to rush in and sweep you off your feet? No, because I think there's a partnership here that needs to be dealt with first that is not compatible. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings. Because it's something. It's something, right? Well, karma sees that shit. So, anyway... I see a breakup, honestly. I see a breakup, and I, I do. I mean, I do. I do. And I see somebody just getting down to the nitty-gritty of their job, their business, their money. Looking forward, you know, I'm going to build something solid. I want something solid. And I see this person waiting for it. I don't see anything hurry. There's no hurry. I want big love, and I will wait for it. So I feel like that's what this is. I feel like this is... You know, coming to the conclusion that something is not for you and breaking up. And that is what I got. And I'm sorry, but that is what I have. Good luck.